people have become human cash registers, and it's a freaking disaster. It's eating away at the foundation of retail prosperity, and this you need to listen to. One of the things that I talked about today to the guys in Milwaukee, what the hell can we provide in the physical world that Amazon cannot? When asked about you know retail and asked about this whole thing of you know the Amazons of the world and all this kind of stuff, retail has to get smart. Retail has to realize that they're providing the human connection. And the reason is, is that you can do things in a retail space that you can't do online. Big error, and the reason why retail can struggle when it is struggling, is the fact that people have turned into human cash registers. That's the last thing we need. We don't need just a person to stand there and basically take an order. But if they can share a passion, if they can be as engaged in the process, if they can love coffee as much as you do, if they can love the food as much as you do, if they can love the music as much as you do, if they can love the experience, the thing that they're coming to you for as much as you do, that's something that you can't get online. Yeah, you can read reviews and do all that kind of stuff, but man, that human connection, do you remember, for those of us that have been around for a while, you know why iTunes was even made possible? was because music stores ceased to become places where you would go and experience and discover music from someone else who loved music, ideally loved your kind of music, and said, oh, by the way, have you also heard this? And, da, 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 and you would talk and you would have a best friend there. Well, once that stopped happening and people just became human cash registers, that's when the problem began. And so they just started to take orders and just complete the transaction. And they eliminated and ignored the thing that was the human connection. That was the problem. And when you do that, that's when you have a problem. But a place like this, I just dropped by this place, Collectivo, in Milwaukee, and it's freaking awesome. No one there is a human cash register. Human cash registers suck, okay? And so the thing that we have here is these guys are alive. They've created a community, a space. What an environment. They've turned this water pump facility into and resurrected it into an amazing coffee experience, a haven where you can hang out. There's not a freaking seat that is empty. That's the thing that is just amazing. There's not a seat that's empty. The place is exploding. People come in and come in and come in, and it is not even on a main street. This is not on a main You have to go out of your way to get here but they've made it someplace worth going out of your way for. Great brickwork, great restoration, incredible vibe, good music, good menu. Uh, they care, they're interested. Do you have this? Yes, they do, blah, 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 blah. And it is freaking awesome. And they have all these little nooks and crannies, and this is great. That's how you actually survive and expand as a retail facility, and that you don't become this just human cash register, and you don't contribute to the epidemic of people becoming human cash registers. That's the way you overcome this notion. And there you go, and that's it. That's all I gotta say. Okay, bam, loving this. This is great stuff. Boom. Ah.